Hey guys, it's almost the end of the school year, so to kick off the summer, I'm going to go on a last fossil hunt at my school, and then I'm going to move on to some other places at the beginning of the summer, and then I'll get a whole host of different videos for you guys that's fossil fern hunting, arrowhead hunting, some uh, ice age hunting at the Arkansas River, and then so the last one, it's going to be a at least two part uh, video with the Sulphur River in Northeast Texas. So I'm about to go on a trip up to my school to go do a last uh, last video for the year uh, for the fossil fern hunting, and I just wanted to show you what all I was bringing. So to start off, I'm going to bring three toothbrushes, two regular brushes, a tape measure. Now this is some paleo bond. It's a type of special glue that you put on before uh, you bring it back to the lab to clean up. It's a really nice glue. I like it a lot. Water, toilet paper, three chisels, and my knife, fossil hunting knife, compass, duct tape, and heavy artillery. Got the big chisel in case something's too difficult to crack open with these, I'll use the heavy artillery. Got some plastic bags, rope, glasses, got my geological hammer, and then I got some gloves. And I'm going to put all this into my backpack and we'll take it out tomorrow and I will see you guys when I get out there. Okay guys, I'm um, here in the woods heading towards the creek. And there's a big trail over here where some students filled in the big gap with some limestone and uh, like cement and stuff. But right there is a bunch of limestone. I'm going to search through there for some stuff and then I'm going to move on to the other part of the creek. Okay, so I've been sifting through all this uh, limestone and I've finally come across something. Uh, there's a big crinoid that actually runs down here and then keeps going down into the rock. So I'm going to try to pull this whole chunk away and I'm going to probably bring it back home and use the air scribe to kind of clean it up and I'll do a video on that. So yeah, let's get this thing out of here. Okay, so it runs into this rock, so I'm going to have to try and get under it. Oh man, that's a big rock. Okay. Um, okay, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. So I might not actually be able to... Well, maybe. Okay, if I can break it into smaller pieces, I might be able to take it home. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be quite a challenge. Okay, I finally got it to break into a few smaller pieces, but instead of actually getting a whole rock, I just decided to take the crinoid into smaller pieces and then I'll just glue it all together and then I'll show you guys that but I also found a piece of coral if it'll focus focus anyway I'll just show you those when I get back 